Some years ago, I was singing Holy Moors in the old rite at an altar where for three years Blessed Columba Marmion had celebrated. It's in the house where for a while he was with his community at Enniscorthy. And while celebrating the same sacred mysteries on the same altar unchanged, amid the same unchanged choir storms, I became very much aware that we have the same grace in our hands. The chant also links us to our brethren, for they have sung the same notes received from those who were inspired to compose these chants centuries and centuries ago. We are part of something greater. In France, in the 70s and 80s, when their information at the Chartreuse, Tom Columba Marmion was staple diet. His trilogy is still read and studied and has not been surpassed. He himself could have gone either way in his life. He was in Dublin, but opted initially to go through the seminary formation and to be ordained for the Archdiocese. He was ordained actually in Rome in 1881. His birth coincides with the period in which things were happening in France, 1858. Our Lady came in that year to Lourdes. He eventually was a curate for a while in Dundrum, one of the areas of Dublin, and his talent was perceived by his superiors, for he was then eventually brought in to lecture at the Diocesan Seminary, Holy Cross, in Clonliffe. But he was a man of deep prayer and interiority, and that pull became supreme. And so he entered the Benedictines at Maritzou in Belgium. It was on this day, the 3rd of October 1909, that he received the abbatial blessing. He had entered in 1886 and they soon perceived his talents. So these books have influenced not only monks, but also religious of both sexes and priests in particular, for they do talk about the intimacy of the soul with its beloved. And he has a very specific spirituality for the monastic world linked with the high beauty of praise, a sublime doctrine which does leave an impact on the soul that studies it. The titles are Christ, the life of the soul, Christ in his mysteries, and Christ the ideal of the monk. We are cultic beings. And for the monk, the supreme work is the opus day, to which nothing must be preferred. It's a lesson, actually, for our hurried world. The bell is a huge break. It stops everything and cause us back to base. If there is no bell, no structure, then our life, and it's only one life we have, can be frittered away on all kinds of trivialities, sometimes holy trivialities, but trivialities nevertheless compared with the praise of glory.
when in school I was being catechised by the monks in Cardiff, they were from Ampleforth, and one was from Buckfast, and one day Dom Lawrence at the beginning of one lesson said that he'd been talking to Dom Kevin and they thought it would be a good idea for me to go up to the monastery and he put it this way to see a bit of Benedictine splendour and so they sent me up for Holy Week in 1971 a big monastery a big community 120 monks and Don Basil Hume calmly presiding, pontificating in the Easter Triduum. And it was indeed something splendid. And that does attract. Beauty attracts. I see the same phenomenon with our brethren in California because we were studying together in Rome at the Genuinate and in the various universities of Rome and they helped us hugely with our liturgy in the Norbertine House, Genuinate College. Nothing was spared, even on a weekday. And those coming casually to visit us from other universities and communities were deeply impressed. It did draw. And we see that the Lord uses that praise of glory also as a healer for human souls needing consolation and as a magnet to draw them to the service of glory. And that pattern in St. Michael's Abbey in Orange County has continued when we were together in Rome in the 90s, they were always full of young men, and that has carried on. There are some 42 in formation to the priesthood there now, in their house, and the community is about 75, and they've had this huge abbey, classical style, built at huge cost, but Providence securely has intervened, for he our God is not short of means when it is precisely for his glory. And St. Michael too, who is honoured there, has obviously wanted it. And so it is that when it comes to looking for vocations, one needs to go further upstream and not look for them by shortcut means, as though human means were enough divine means are, and God sends vocations to places where the vocations will be handled properly, with correct teaching, with correct formation, with charity, and in this specific case with him in the midst as the centre of attention and energy and praise, ours and hours of praise. And they also had and still have the obligation of the daily holy hour of adoration, which gives them intimacy with the High King. And they, as we did actually at Kilnacrot, maintained that. They had it in Rome. They were always keeping that holy hour. And so even in Rome, much prayer was in the house. It is a beautiful formula for life. I'm only here once. I will give all to glory. And I will disappear in that mist. It's rather what we have in the first reading on this day from the prophet Zephaniah. Many peoples and great nations will come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to entreat the favour of the Lord. In those days, ten men 
of nations, of every language, will take a Jew by the sleeve and say, We want to go with you, since we have heard that God is with you. After celebrating on that altar where Blessed Columba Marmion had celebrated for three years, in the old rite I was deeply moved and I wrote these words, singed by rays felt during the Missa Cantata at Blessed Columba's altar. He was beatified in the year 2000, on the 3rd of September. <clears throat> what is a place, a spot upon the globe that onward turns and pauses for no man? What is, I say, a place to stand alone upon a land once known? Neath the old rays range. Tis to be on a moving aeon Still, unshoved by hurry's haste. Tis to lean on a second as it comes. Tis to let thrill old tingles that once passed, for here's redone a work that once worked well, and works again with ancient mastery. We thought too. Play.